Jason, you know, we've talked about McDonald's quite a bit on this channel. And you know mm -hmm. another company that I'm going to be bringing in, another fast food place I'm going to be bringing in this time? Chipotle. And you know Chipotle? Why? You know why we're going to be talking about them today? For their new carne asada. <laughs> oh, their lime one? Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. They're raising prices. So, so in California. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to be crazy. They're raising their prices because... The thing is that California next year is going to be raising the wages of its workers to twenty dollars minimum wage. That's crazy. That's that's a lot. And you know what? Because of that, guess who the costs are gonna be incurred on? Probably the people who buy things at Chipotle and McDonald's and everywhere else. Yes, that is true. The thing is that we, the consumers, are going to be charged with uh, the wages of the the employees. And the thing mm -hmm. is, too, that this is all because of rising costs along with essentially what's going to be happening a rise yeah inflation and a rise in minimum wages so let me read you this fast food workers in california will start making twenty dollars an hour in april due to a compromise between r the restaurant industry and labor groups so yeah the two groups came together got made a consensus saying that the average wage is now going to be twenty dollars the thing is both mcdonald's and chipotle said Customers in California will pay more to offset the cost. So, I think it's a... I think it's big. a weird thing as well because I, I do believe that if you're increasing the wages, then they increase the prices. And then if all the prices increase, that money that you just... The more money you just made doesn't go as far. Hmm. So, it's like a weird thing where like, oh, you know, then I don't know if the... Uh, because you have to think about, can you still live in the area with twenty dollars an hour? Yeah, that it's is. It's still true. like really stretching, as it, well. Yeah, it is true, especially in California. By the way, mm -hmm. yeah, this is only happening in California, not anywhere else, which is interesting. But I think that it is a trend that probably is going to start here and continue in other places. The thing is that. I personally like, we personally like when in, in, when employees make more money, especially in fast food places, mm -hmm. I think that they provide a really great service. And the thing is that I feel like they do deserve this. They deserve this. But the thing is that I think that the company probably could have afforded to pay for part of mm. this salary instead of offsetting the cost with the, with the um, customers. Because mm -hmm. I know for a while now that a lot of people have been complaining about McDonald's saying that their prices are too high. And yeah, and the, the whole meme th aspect of it. Oh, is, like there like, used to be a dollar menu and that, <laughs> no such thing. Yes, there there used to be a dollar menu. It's a, now a value menu. There's nothing there that's like a dollar. It used I think to be, it's like wait, soda, I think. Is the soda still a dollar? I think the soda is still a dollar. But mm. the $5... 20 piece chicken nuggets are is gone it's six dollars now Yikes. they raised the price because of inflation so it is it is crazy on what exactly is happening here uh we do like that employees are getting paid more the yeah thing is that the, the the customer aspect is kind of a little weird hmm. to be honest i do wonder how it's going to go because this ties into a lot of other topics we've talked about on the podcast if you want to go look those up but it goes into the automation aspect because Chipotle recently was talking about how they're going to automate oh, a lot of their right. stuff. They're going to start uh, testing out automation to make the bowls for online orders. So oh, now they yeah, don't even right. need as many people. Like you still need someone to like roll the burrito and stuff, but they might be able to like not have another person hired. So yeah. I feel like just having that would offset the cost of the wage increase if you have one less person working there. That is true. And then the thing is, if you offset it with one person, they're still charging everyone more. They're still making a profit. Yes. Uh, the thing is, by the way, McDonald's didn't say how much it's raising their prices, but Chipotle did. Oh? Yeah. The thing that Chipotle said is that it may raise its prices. This is a may, a mid to high single digit percentage. So at least five to nine percent. 
that it's going to be raising its prices. Hmm. I That's saw interesting. a picture of uh, what is, I think it was like the early, I think it's like the late 2000s. Mm-hmm. Like Chipotle? A, yeah, Chipotle menu that had um, a burrito for like 570 That's insane. For a steak burrito, I think. And it was now. Maybe like, sold out. <laughs> yeah, now it's like uh, 11 20 or something like that. Yeah. I feel like that was like. I feel like it was like nine something. Is it nine? I thought it was $11 for a burrito. It depends on the. Um... For like meat. a steak burrito, or maybe I don't know. I oh. think I think chicken's like ten dollars or nine something. Mm, but okay. yes, we'll put a picture right here of that the that menu. It's I think insane. it depends too because it. Oh well, I mean that but, one. But you can't think get about anywhere. it, like six dollars for a burrito. Well, I mean a burrito. A burrito. Oh, one time a year. One time a year, one you can get a burrito oh for six dollars. Okay, it's past Halloween. You can't, you can't get it anymore. <laughs> can't get a burrito. But, but yes, it is insane. The thing is, too, Chipotle raised prices four times since 2021 due mm. to higher uh, cost of goods. So they've already mm. been raising their prices quite a bit. Yeah, I think the other one is that they, for Chipotle at least, they kind of pride themselves in like having better in ingredients yeah. and stuff like that so i could see if they're like trying to locally source the ingredients and like everything gets more expensive then like the locally sourced ingredients are, will also be more expensive yeah uh, you know what i wonder if if they raise the prices i wonder if uh the, the amount of people who order walk goes down because hmm. that's an extra expense what's that for guacamole a uh, guacamole yeah uh, okay yeah Mm, because the guac is going to go up as well. Yeah. I feel like it's never a good idea to get the guac. It's like, so expensive. It's, ex- it's, it's tasty. I like the guacamole yeah. there. But, yeah, it's never really, like... It's so expensive. Yeah. You You're might adding, well, like, an extra $3 on that burrito or the, yeah, the bill. You might as well, like, if you go to, like, um, like Trader Joe's or something, you can probably buy, like, a whole thing of guacamole for the same amount of money as the as one scoop of guacamole yeah so okay so very last thing um and before that i want to say that um we put out videos daily if you like this type of video make sure to like and subscribe Mm -hmm. uh we have a library of over 200 videos i'm pretty sure there's something in there that you probably will like yeah and uh let us know if you think um what they're doing is correct like do you think um the increase will be accepted by these by consumers i mean i i'm pretty sure it will you are already mad <laughs> but I, mean, I don't know i feel like it's like gas prices where like you know people are mad about the gas prices <laughs> exactly but they still got gas <laughs> they still got gas yeah like i still got to eat for lunch or something you yeah know? that is true you can start making your food but what are we cavemen have you seen the meme by the way the meme that was like oh yeah you like eating at mcdonald's because it's tasty and they're like no i like eating at mcdonald's because it's cheap and now you guys aren't cheap that's true i, I feel like in my head mcdonald's became not cheap a long time ago yeah yeah. and i'm like i don't know if i would eat there at all yeah it's unless it's it's like a foreign mcdonald's oh maybe with the special items or like i guess the um regional specific mcdonald's where they have the um the everything, all the regional items. Yeah, the I, I went there to Hamburger oh, the University. Chicago? Yeah, Hamburger University. Yeah, they didn't. Have, they had a. They didn't have as much things. I. I think oh, it might have been lame. like the week, but they didn't have a lot. They had like four extra things on the menu. Yeah, I don't know. They were on. They were doing construction too, so it might have been that too. Oh. Um, yeah, but okay. The last thing I did want to say was that McDonald's says that this will hurt franchises in the short term, mm-hmm. but will help help them gain market share in the future. And I do say that because I think other businesses are going to be increasing their prices as well. So I don't um, I think that McDonald's, because other businesses are probably going to be raising their prices, that McDonald's could still be quote unquote affordable. Uh, a value prices. still? Yeah, a value still. Mm, yeah. I don't know. Not their dollar menu, but their value menu. Mm. They're, they're the ma- value menu of restaurants. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, let us know in the comments down below your guys' thoughts.